The housing market was at the epicenter of the financial crisis and the Great Recession that followed. Lenders entered into risky and unsafe mortgages with bars, which were packaged and sold to investors, all with a view that housing prices would keep bubbling upward. When prices stopped rising and the bubble popped, the devastation was broad for families, businesses, communities, and our financial system and economy. Today, the housing market, much like our economy, is rebounding, but important challenges still remain. The number of households in foreclosure has fallen from its peak, but it still exceeds 600,000 nationwide. The number of homeowners in negative equity is also falling as prices have rebounded, but over 5 million homeowners across our country still owe more on their mortgages than the value of their homes. The national numbers, moreover, don't always tell the complete story as experiences vary considerably across geographic areas, demographic groups, and market segments. In my home state of New Jersey, for example, nearly 6% of homeowners with a mortgage are in the foreclosure process, the highest rate in the nation. In communities with high concentration of foreclosed properties or distressed borrowers, the consequences can be devastating and the economic recovery slower. Families looking to become homeowners or move up in the market also face challenges. During the boom years, lenders made and securitized risky loans that borrowers could not afford. But now it seems that borrowers of more modest means, instead of receiving modest, responsible loans, are having, are having a hard time getting a mortgage at all. First-time homebuyers and underserved communities in particular are feeling the impact. Today's hearing will examine challenges such as these that still face us in the housing market. I look forward to hearing from our witnesses regarding the factors that may be contributing to each as well as potential solutions.